Good morning and welcome to another Motivational Monday. This is Jen Lyles and today is May 6, 2019. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Can you feel the magic in this May? If not, here you go. Take that. That's the pixie dust. Because you know what? You got to be willing and able. Able. Yes. Come on. Ready to put your cards on the table. Today's Motivational Monday. It's all about when those shoes hurt your feet. Um, so I hung out with some friends. I did some things. Today, this past weekend was a little easier than the last weekend. But shoes that hurt your feet. These shoes can be people. They can be places. They can be priorities. They can be jobs. The shoes. We decide to put on the shoes. So rather it's someone new that we allow into our life significant other maybe it's a job that we've taken on a career we've been in for years these shoes are hurting your feet and the reason you know they hurt your feet is because you complain about them all the time and you always telling somebody like god these shoes really hurt my feet i hate it here like you're 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 constantly letting it be known that the shoes are hurting your feet but you are the only person that can take the shoes off and see here's what happens with shoes that hurt your feet you got a finite amount of time to get these shoes off before they cause permanent damage. When you wear shoes that hurt your feet, you wear them one night, two nights, you're like, oh, my feet hurt. I can't believe it. I had to take them off from away because it was hurting so bad. But if you keep putting them shoes on, what happens? That little pinky toe gets all crushed. It gets ugly. You start getting corns on your feet. And then you can't, like, you look at your feet, you're like, oh, your feet are ugly. And if the shoes really hurt your feet, now they start messing with the way you walk. And you got a limp. And it's like, man, what happened to her? Man, she's been wearing them shoes to hurt her feet for years. And then they become a part of you. But then when I was with my friend, Jen, shout out to you. Um, she said, yeah. And when it gets really bad, pretty soon you got calluses on your feet. So you don't even feel that they hurt anymore. <gasps> Mind blown. So whatever them shoes are, you got to be willing and able to take them off. You can win out here. God is real, dreams come true. Let me tell you something, if you're having a problem with getting what you want and you're stuck in a place of complaint, let me tell you what's been working for me. You can't focus on what it is because you'll just perpetuate more of that. You have to constantly start visualizing what it is you want and feel that. If it's someplace else you want to be, start feeling it and your spirit raises and you start seeing it and it starts creating it and your mind makes it happen for you. But if you just keep on focusing what's wrong, you're just gonna get on more what's wrong. So let's go. Let's go be willing and able. Put your cards on the table. Be the reason somebody wins. It's all about the win. I'll see you next week.